Seriously, put it, stop, put it down. What? It's a toy. Just put it down. What are you being such a pussy about? It's a, it's a toy, I made it. What? I don't, I don't care. I don't care if it's fake or not. Put it down. What? What? Ooh, I live here. I can do whatever I want. What? No, you don't live here. I live here. What are you, what are you out of your mind? What? No, you don't. I live here. I don't know who the hell you are. This should be a real gun. I should be pointing a real gun at the intruder that's in my house. Oh, oh I'm scared of the fake gun. Oh. God, I'm such a wuss. It's fake. Hey, what's going on everyone? Another quick video. Hope you like the intro there. I worked really, really hard on that. It was difficult. The actors were just so terrible to work with. But anyways, a uh, quick video today, just walking through the costume we made for Comic-Con this year. Uh, didn't film a lot of it, so it's just the finished product. I'm gonna go through, kind of give you guys a quick view of what it looks like. And that's about it what I did, how I did it, and if you guys got any questions on it, like like normal, just throw it in the comments, because I didn't videotape any of it, which I don't even know if a lot of you know what videotape is. Uh, I didn't digitally video save it. Anyways, I didn't get any of it on video. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, let's take a look at the, uh, whatchamacallit, the whatchamahoosit Fallout 4 costume. Woo! All right then. Ta-da! Dun, 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 dun! Sorry. Couldn't help myself. All right, let's start with the big guy right here in the middle, huh? Pretty sweet. It's the pipe rifle. I did post some of this on Instagram. The magazine is detachable. Huh? How about them apples? Pretty sweet. Two pins and some Velcro. Can't go wrong with that. And bring it to the end. Most of this is wood, wood. This piece is wood, even though you know it's supposed to be metal. Uh, these pipes are metal, metal, metal wire, metal here. Foam wrap. This piece down here and this nut down at the bottom are foam. See, they bend. We. Um, this is supposed to be metal, but uh, that's foam. These, this bolt is real. This bolt is real, and this bolt is real. And other than that, all the bolts are fake. They're all made of foam. I uh, got a couple on the back there also. Bada bing, bada boom. So it turned out pretty nice. The wrap in the front here, the wire's real, but the black bar here, that's wood, painted black. Um, I was gonna make this all wood and metal, so it was like a real pipe rifle from the game, but I just felt it was going to be too heavy and it was too much fabrication really to get into in the short period of time I had. So this is what we went with. This did work and slide, but I felt it was going to, it didn't lock. So I felt it was going to bounce all over the place at Comic-Con. So I just glued it in place for now. I do want to make it so it comes back and forth. But other than that, that's the pipe rifle. I think it turned out pretty sweet. It is just over three feet long to give you kind of an idea of the size. See, I can't even get it in the frame turned out pretty sweet but that's that let's get that out of the way um i made a full set of raider armor uh these are the gauntlets here uh left and right obviously or maybe they're right and left or left and uh, uh, i don't know but um, all foam construction like normal uh these are foam this thin i think that's two mil or whatever the rest is all the floor mat foam uh oh look at that it's left it says it inside I think it turned out pretty sweet. I like how the leather strapping detail worked. I tried to curl the edges, edges up so that way it actually looked like it might be fabric holding it together, but it turned out cool. And on this one, we just went with like a, like a metal bracket, a slightly thicker um, foam. Okay, so there's my gauntlets, my upper arms. I have the signature rebar look uh, foam. These are PVC. I just heated them up with a blowtorch and bent them. That's why they're a little bubbled underneath. But I thought that turned out pretty sweet. We've got those. And then this one I went with five and some battle damage. And everything went with that rusty look like you see in the game. Um, 
But yeah, that turned out pretty sweet. I tried to do a, so it looked like a weld, so that was all hot glue, and then just hit with some gray, so it actually looked like it might have been welded on there. So those are sweet. Um, what's next? My upper leg, also known as your thigh, for those of you guys that are, don't know anatomy. Um, I don't even know if that's anatomy, but yeah. These are my thigh pieces. Again, we won't battle damage. I did do all these little rivet marks throughout all these pieces, which is just a, a piece of tubing that I sharpened on one end and just kind of pushed in and twisted and gave me all those little nice little rivet marks. I thought they looked pretty neat on there. Kind of give you a zoomed in look. Went with the strapping across so it looked like that's what was holding it together and just cut the pieces. They're not all the way through, it is solid, but I just cut them, scored them. Um, one thing I will do is these leg pieces need more straps. They need at least, you know, maybe one here, one here, or I'll leave this one here and I'll do two. And I shouldn't have used the elastic because it just stretched out. These things slid down my leg the entire time I walked around. It was a pain in the butt. I even ripped off one of those, one of these straps before I even walked in the front door and had to walk around with one leg off. Okay, next up is the other leg, right? Am I right? Again, we went with the weld look, you know? I mean, geez, I didn't weld it, but it's got that ugly nuclear apocalypse weld on there. The chain is plastic chain from the hardware store. Black chain, hit it with like an aluminum, light dusting aluminum spray paint, which gave me, I don't know if you guys can see that, that little shine to it. And then I went over it and added all the rust colors and all that kind of stuff to make it look all worn and beat up. The nice thing is the paint doesn't stick well, so as they rub, it kind of flakes and looks worn on its own. So yeah, that's how that one turned out, you know. Looks pretty sweet. Again, everything's foam, EVA foam. You know, again, more strapping on the legs. Learn my lesson this time. These are my lower legs, side by side. The good thing I found with making the Raider armor was none of it really has a pattern. I mean, I could have copied something directly from the game, but none of this really needed to be exact. I wanted to make it like I was just trying to make something with scraps laying around. And that's actually how this was made, just scrap pieces I had on the ground. I cut them up. No patterns. I just took a piece and went, oh, you know what? I'll just cut some pieces out of it and make it into something. And that's how these are made, the whole thing. From these pieces to those pieces, everything was just all made all willy-nilly. But same thing, chain, these ones stayed on really nice with the one strap, but did the chain and the rivet marks and some damage and stuff like that. But there's that one, this one's obviously a little bit different. Um, wraps around the leg a little bit more. It turned out pretty sweet. The rust on that one actually looks really nice on camera for some reason, at least to me. You guys might not see it, but pretty sweet, pretty sweet. And the heavy piece, the chest piece. The chest piece I made, it's got straps under here, but I left the chain so it looked like that's what was holding it all together. The back is just plain, rusty, worn out metal, like that, you know. Up here, can't get any good lighting on it, but yeah, just a normal back piece or whatever. I didn't really do anything to that. And on the front, there we go. Now, this is metal tubing. Same metal tubing that's used in the gun. It's from like an old tent. I had a smashed up piece already that was in the box. So I used that plastic chain. It's all hot glued together. I actually wired it in too to give it a different look. I tried to weather the crap out of it. I added some blood for some effect. Got the chain on there. But this is the only piece I made from pattern. I just made a pattern of a simple chest piece as I break it. But, um, see, and uh, I just cut it out, made the front and back the same, and then added all this to it. This was heavy, and it was hot in there to this year, and I was sweating to death carrying this extra weight around. So I wish I would have made this out of PVC. If you're going to make one, do all the tubing on a PVC. Save yourself the time. I was just too lazy to drive to the hardware store. But that is that. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you questions, comments, concerns, down below, put it in the comments. Um, like always, please like the video, please share the video, and please subscribe to the channel. All right, we're the numbers have gone up a lot lately. 
I'd like to keep that going. I hope you guys liked this costume. If there's anything you guys want me to build or you want to know about these builds or any of the other builds on the channel, let me know and I'll get back to you. Um, other than that, check out some of my other videos. Hope you guys like this one and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now. Hey everyone, I'm just sitting here finishing the edit on the video and I had a great idea. Why not give away the armor, right? I mean, let it go to a home where somebody can use it or wear it more than I'm going to. There's no other cons near me this year, so it's just gonna sit here and collect dust. So we're gonna give it away. I'm gonna run this contest to the end of June 2017, and I will randomly select somebody from the comments down below to win. So all you have to do is comment on the video that you wanna be entered in the giveaway. You have to like the video, share the video, turn on your little notifications so you know when my videos come out and that's it you'll be entered and then I will randomly select somebody at the end of the month to win so yeah I hope you like the video I hope you like the armor um, disclaimer I am close to six foot about 5'10 5'11 and a grown man so it is made to fit a grown man um, so, I mean, you could alter it to fit anybody if you wanted to, to be honest. But, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the video, and good luck to you if you enter.